okay, from uh, vessels uh, visit the port, the the dockyard, uh, the pumping up of the water, the the sitting of the ship on the pier, and the sort testing and uh, the survey of food areas and but based on the literature and all whatever we come away from the uh, information we get, this part is missing. Okay? There have not been a proper assessment of underwater hard cleaning. They have cleaning uh, process the way they assess it. Then being under the cleaning, okay, whereby they have to do thorough assessment of the underwater uh, uh, so it's missing. Okay. But we did not uh, actually conduct uh, anything here, but I actually propose that, for example, especially under the new uh, new recommended commercial uh, safety assessment, in that part, the qualitative part of that model can be used here. Okay, either by using preliminary hazard analysis or by using hazard or by using uh, uh, FMEA, epithelial mode effect hazard analysis. Now, so these are the steps uh, that are involved. So this part, I'm um, just going to, uh, if you just want to read this, the, what they do in each stages, okay, you can refer that to the paper. Okay, the vessel comes to the, the port. And this part, the underwater port clean assessment is actually missing, and this is the main part that requires more work. Especially for ship here, we incorporated into their process. Especially uh, evaluation of the coating condition, and also the paint, uh, the discussions about, uh, especially before that is done, uh, what are the areas, and the the use of six quadrant uh, system. They will that they will divide it and we do critical assessment on the sixth quadrant. And the proposition to you, especially for quantitative this uh, analysis on the FSA. Okay. So this are the things that are required. For example, the vessel can be divided into the sixth quadrant. Okay. And the analysis that are available on the FSA qualitative, this part needed for further analysis, it can also be incorporated, especially the use of uh, advanced, uh, I mean, the use of uh, subsystem level uh, FSA analysis, like uh, FMEA, FTA, FTA, and also maybe use of uh, human reliability analysis. So, uh, the assessment. Now, for the assessment, especially the six quadrants I mentioned just now, okay, this is one of the uh, acceptability criteria. Okay, for example, they can give the these uh, metrics based on this rating. They can give it to different conditions that were discovered, that are discovered for maybe regarding uh, any, what is the, uh, what is the whole sheet system. Now, regarding the conditions, okay, the conditions of the paint itself, the hull of the ships, okay, this one can also be used. Okay. For example, the first one, for um, example, like making of zero can be given to uh, no fouling growth at all. Okay. Then number one, every circling of by fill, and number two, number three, and ten. And then this for this one, 
the anti-fouling port condition, okay, and there are standards that are being used by some other institutions, like the Swedish uh, standards and all that, which can be used as a matching or uh, check whether the system is intact or not. For the hard cleaning, so these are the respective, uh, some of the information we collected, standard was. So these are some of the figures uh, that can be followed. For the salt cleaning, the studio. And this one is the, the ship hard rust itself, the ship hard conditions based on the uh, visual uh, inspections and matching with uh, uh, Swedish uh, standards. The blasting, okay, and also uh, the blasting profile. Now for the ship paint application, For the shipping application, the well film thickness and the dry film thickness can be estimated. They use these formulas, like, and this can also be put into stochastic process to predict when the paint is going to fail for other complicated uh, analysis. These are the uh, matching standards. For the for the uh, uh, classifications of the paint itself, you can use physical drying or chemical drying. The one of them, this one cannot be converted okay, to wet film thickness. So these are other properties for the painting that I employ. And these are some of the for different anti that are, that exist now. This is one of the representative results from um, quantitative analysis. So this this standard is also important in the process. And some of when after we finish the studies, we did uh, send it back to the industry and some of them certify and they agree. And the conclusion is uh, that part of the application is very, very important. Okay, and uh, also, especially misapplication, under misapplication, and uh, also the requirement for paint to be free of contaminant is also important prior to putting the new paint. And finally, uh, the, it depends on also the scale. Okay? What analysis can be done on how the workers are doing the work? And finally, other methods or use of other qualitative methods that they see can be employed. And they can pave way for solving this problem from another angle. So I will stop here. I also make some other recommendations. You can make mine in my slide. Thank you. For Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Yeah, this is